What's going on, buddy? I'm back in IRSing, running the uh, Lamborghini for the GT3 test. Um, so, starting off, this is what uh, me, Doug, and everybody ran, uh, or WTF ran, WTF Racing ran last season for the 24 hour. So, we have kind of experience under our belt. It was either this or the BMW last year. Um, but, this is. It seems to be good, pretty good on uh, uh, top speed. It's pretty good on top speed, and it is pretty stable um, out of all of them. It does hit. It hits 174 just on the low down force setup, just um, which is crazy. It's really fast on the straightaway. Um, the dash is actually I will kind of show. It is. As you see in the wheel, it's pretty hard to drive. But, so I think with a good lap, this is one of the quicker ones. It's just you have to be perfect every lap, and it's really hard to get that down and be fast, uh, kind of no matter who you are. So, um, that's it. But, uh, yeah, it's got a uh, track control ABS, and 12 is off, one is lowest support. So, um, it's one of the better ones, I do think. Like faster, wise to drive, easiest. No, it's one of the more difficult ones to drive. It's unfortunate, but I mean, it's it sounds good though. That V10 does sound really good, but uh, it's got pretty. It's the dash is actually really nice, and it. it's easy to understand. I'll actually go and change uh, change it and show you guys the different ones, but. It seems pretty good on top speed wise. It does feel like it's good on top speed. Um, chicane. Oh, I cut it just a little bit. But yeah, this is uh, it's pr it, it is good down uh, straightaways. Let's see, at the line, one seventy three, seventy four, maybe. Four, six, and that was a pretty big mistake in the one and stuff like that. So, do I? Th I do think this is one of the faster cars. I know that. Um, it's just every lap. Do I think it will be? No. If you're really consistent, you can get it down. I do think it's one of the faster ones. I think that's why I was pretty good in it last year. Um, it just kind of depends. Accelerating wise, it does pretty pretty good. Top speed, it's pretty good. Um, it slows down pretty good. The brakes on it are pretty pretty good. Um, yeah, that's kind of the best thing it's good at is really top speed, which I'm kind of shocked about. I haven't driven it a bit, but top speed wise, it's really good. I will do the stop slash acceleration test line but downforce and kind of corners like the chicane turn one turn one it's good because the brakes but it's hard uh, on exit like the rear end grip on exit is kind of iffy stability and kind of turn in speed during these corners it's hard to get down it definitely doesn't turn as well or get through it as well because it doesn't have as much like downforce as the Audi it does drive pretty similar to it, but it just, it's less, it doesn't turn as well. Um, straightaway speed, this is much faster, I do believe. Actually, I will just go straight, see what the top speed is. We hit 177, 178 down the back stretch in the Audi. So I will see. 176, 177. Six really stable. Unleash it. Come on, V10. One seventy eight. Hit one seventy nine. No, but it might be the gearing that uh, kind of holds it back. But it does. It is fast. It feels faster than the like to get to the top speed um, than the Audi. I think this is one of the faster 
accelerating and top speed cars. So if you, it's pretty good uh, on like that, but um, I mean the acceleration is amazing in this thing. That's kind of the good thing about it is that it is really good, but all right, acceleration test. I think it gets a little. It gets a little bit later to uh, to the. Uh, oh, I think it's a little bit slower actually, accelerating wise in the Audi. I I I know that thing is actually really really quick accelerating, but I think it was much faster than this. Even though there's gain 132, so it's about the same as the Audi, which is good. But this thing. It's harder to drive than the Audi, I think. Um, if you're, you or some of your teammates are more prone to making mistakes and stuff, this is not the choice. Uh, it's, it's pretty unpredictable, um, especially on cold tires. It's one struggle. One thing I forgot to say about the Audi is it struggles on cold tires, but once you do get temp and tires start to go, it's one of the better ones, just racing wise. But it's hard to kind of get that down. Um, this, it's similar to that. Like the uh, tires need time to kind of heat up, give it a few laps. Um, and that, actually, I'll show you guys the. So you have day and night, which I ran night when we ran the 24 hour. Uh, Magnus Qual, which has the tire temps. Is that tire temps? that break I don't even know so there's Magnus Qual and qualifying which that might be what I ran in the race yeah that's why I ran in the race I like the darker one so um, there's that ABS braking all that traction control um, it does seem to be really like this thing is one of the better ones it's just hard one of the harder ones to drive so I ran a 4449 in it uh, after two laps, the Audi I just ran one, and I ran a 44.2, so that's kind of one unfortunate thing. But like I said, it is hard to drive, jump into. But uh, and that, there's the uh, Lamborghini Huracan GT3. So if you guys enjoyed, leave that subscribe. I will see y'all in the next one. Peace out.